So I want to show you how to do a virtual podcast. When it comes to thumbnails, keeping it simple, you don't want more than three elements in your thumbnail. In this case, you have face one, text two, icons three. And what I love about Adobe Express is I just search the word thumbnail, click on YouTube thumbnails, and they, they give you all these thumbnails. All right, so here we go. I'm just starting with this template. The first thing I'll do, I'm just gonna delete the semicolon and I'm gonna add my photo. I have a headshot in my desktop. So this remove background tool is literally like the greatest thing in the world. Another thing is you don't want yourself to be small. Humans look at eyes. And so really want to blow up your face. It's like 70%, 80% because like this is what people are going to connect with. So we're going to go to background color up here and then we're going to go to custom color and kind of find like a good inviting blue. And then I actually like also that Adobe Express allows you to use elements. I'm just going to search vignette. I'm going to you know, right click this and send it to the back. And so now it's just in front of that blue chill it out too. So I'm just going to bring down the opacity of it. Really the only reasons why people will click a video is because they connect with the emotion being conveyed on the person's face. And then the phrase that you use is what's really going to persuade somebody to click on a video. Using a question phrase, somebody engages with their video before they click on it. I did this interview with this guy named Chris Doe, branding genius, how to build a brand, not just a business. And I didn't put in the thumbnail how to build a brand, even though I could have. I put forget how it looks. Content, game plan with text. Legibility is the goal. Using other logos and brands to connect to people because you might not be known, but what people know are, you know, Adobe. And the thing that influences the click through rate is the thumbnail and the title. It's a skill to actually learn how titles and thumbnails work together. One of the biggest opportunities uh, with content creation, generally speaking, is podcasting. You know, a lot of people know StreamYard as a tool to conduct live streams. And I think that's that's awesome. If you were doing a like a virtual podcast, kind of like what we're seeing right now, you're seeing two people on screen and you want to capture this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Let's go to the StreamYard department. You're going to hit create. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to use it for a recording. And then I'm going to select this record locally for each participant is it's going to give you a file of each person. And you're going to go into audio and just make sure your, your microphone's selected. You know, I love the just the little things they have, echo cancellation and automatically adjust microphone volume. You can change the colors. You can throw in your logo. You can use Adobe Express, create thirds, create overlays, create backgrounds, and then import them into StreamYard. The first thing you're going to do is, is send the link to your guest. So right here on the bottom of the screen, it says invite. And then what you're going to do is just literally copy and send that to somebody. Click on record. Uh, just want to make sure that set to audio and video and you're at 1080. And then once you're recording, you're good. We're going to just end this recording. It's going to ask you, was it good? It's always good with StreamYard. You have your main file of you both on screen. And this file is my guest. And this file was me. I hit download here. It downloaded the main one. I hit download on the bottom right. And then I hit download right here on the bottom right as well. So then now I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to just import those three files. Start a new sequence by simply dragging the file with myself onto the timeline. And then I'm going to title this sequence pre cut and then I'm going to drag my my guest on top and then I'm going to drag the one that has both of us to so click and drag draw a box right click so now we're just synchronizing all these angles I'm going to actually just delete this last audio we don't need it the the beginning and the end should have the same start and the same finish so I'm just going to slice right through this I'm going to actually unlink everything you could search essential sound so I'm just going to hook up arts audio by going to dialogue podcast voice and then that's literally it i like to duplicate my sequence because you might make a mistake and you can't go backwards so there's this new ai tool called autopod it costs about 30 dollars a month if you have a podcast it is invaluable so the cutting method you can do standard multi-shot frequency i mean just how many times it's going to switch even to that third angle we got two speakers we have three cameras a1 is omar a2 is art then we want to tag our speakers. Literally hit multi-cam edit. So it, it it's literally switching based on who's talking, which is awesome. And here's what's cool about implementing a strategy like this, especially for podcasting. Now I can put the work that AI can't do into stuff like 
creating you know a hook that is how you from start to finish can you know create a podcast this year omar you killed it you are a man of mastery when it comes to this so thank you for showing us how easy it is to be able to create assets using adobe express and using Streamyard to uh, do podcasts and also do live streams thank you all for joining us have a good one